an apple wantable style edit today. Hello everybody, it's Omega. If you're new, welcome aboard. Today we have the wantable winter sale edit where I, I believe it's four items are um, up to 50% off and then there's some regular priced things. Inside your wantable box, you're going to get an envelope that you can put everything that you don't want back into, and then they send you a pile of lovely things for you to try on and decide if you love them. Um, let's see, I did ask, let's see, no hats please. If you saw my last wantable uh, style edit, you'll, no, I said that. Uh, I said I would love a pair of black ponte pants. Skinny, not skinny, boot cut. I would like boot cut or straight. No jackets unless it's a faux leather jacket in matte black, but not the suede ones. I don't want a suede one. I said, but a blazer or a cardigan is okay. No skinny jeans, but boot cut or straight is good. And no distressing or only mild distressing, please and thank you. And that's all that I asked for. And I got Grace this time. I think she was my last one too. I'm not sure though. Uh, she's happy that I'm trying the winter sale style edit. Hope she hope that I enjoy the discounted items that she selected paired with the on trend new arrivals. Be able to create countless outfits. <laughs> uh, take the next five days, try everything on, decide which pieces are your keepers. P.S. You get an additional 20% off even the sale prices if you keep five or more items. As always, be sure to leave us your feedback at checkout. Wishing you a happy and healthy new year. So here's what I have. First thing she sent is a pair of Verve, I'm guessing, uh, Bella high rise flare jeans. They are a nice dark to mid wash, no distressing and a lovely boot cut. These look like they have the chance to be long enough to wear with something besides flats and still uh, being on the edge of looking silly. We do have real pockets in the front, zipper and button in front, and cute little back without much detail except for the contrast stitching, which I like. So I'm hopeful for those. They look like they might do me right Next, we have something in a light oatmeal-y color, quite long. Oh, it's a cardigan, and um, I like cardigans, and I like this color, but I'll show you what I don't love so much is this waterfall front style. I'm not a big fan of that. I do like how up here it's smooth, and then along the collar and at the bottom, it has ribbing, and the ribbing seems to be kind of going down in a V right there, which is interesting. And it meets up right there. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, there you go. To create a little V. There are no pockets, so that's a drag. We will see how that fits. This color is amazing. Uh, let's see. This is by Gentle Fawn. And it is the Matilda, and the color is Heather Current. This is, it looks like a wide, oh, crop sweater. But I like the, the way that the weave goes in different directions and kind of makes a faux v-neck, I suppose. The sleeves are kind of wide, but then come in here at the bottom, so I get a little bit of a balloony balloon. I'm thinking. It is kind of a thin, openish weave, so I would definitely have to wear something under it. Um, but since it's cropped, I probably would anyways. That way, when things pop out, it's not my stomach. It's my stomach under a tank top. <laughs> Next, um, this is kind of oatmeal colored and kind of barely gray and kind of off-white. It's a very interesting color. This is by Z Supply. And this is a thermal top in sandstone. 
go ahead and get those tags out of the way. Very um, oversized, high-low, squared bottom with the notch at the side, a waffle weave top with a V-neck. So we'll see how that fits. This color is delightful. This is W by Wantable. And uh, they're calling it Toffee. That works. I can see that. And it is this lovely mock neck with varying size rib to give the material a little bit of interest. Long sleeve. Looks like it would be a, a bit of a sleek fit. So we like that. I'm excited for that one. This one is interesting. We'll see if it shows up well on camera, but um, it kind of has like burnout and floofies and metallic threads on this little blouse here. Little floaty ruffly sleeves. Let's see if I can get this close enough to show you. Yeah, sort of, there you go. And the edges of these flowers actually kind of floof out. So that's interesting. Kind of a high neck with a ruffle on the on the front. We'll see. Um, like mock necks and, and turtlenecks like this, I'm fine with. It, it depends on where this seam lands. Um, if this seam lands too high, then it kind of feels like it's choking you, but if the seam lands down here, like this one is, where it's just sitting right on top of my bone, then it doesn't bug me at all, and when they're not tied up here, I'm good with it. So we'll see on this, because that does look kind of high, and in the back, it looks like it has uh, little buttons, yeah, three buttons on the back there. Yeah, yeah, that's the back, okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure for a second there. Uh, there's a little bit of um, pleating right here at the front. So this is interesting, we'll see. It's either gonna be really awesome or really not. Oh, I'm gonna guess that not, because I just noticed this. It turns into a little baby doll top there at the bottom. And a lot of times I just don't like the way those hang on me, but we'll see. And we have Cross your fingers, folks. These are a pull-on itty-bitty boot cut uh, by Democracy in size extra small. But take a look at this waistband right now. This is an extra small, which is supposed to be a zero to two. Um, it looks pretty big. <laughs> so I'm not that hopeful. Okay, these are faux pockets. Um, but they give the illusion of being real pockets because there's a little bit of a free hanging seam there. Um, but they're fake. And then the back has real pockets. And we come down to a boot cut. So I'm really hoping that I am wrong and that these will sit on me nicely. But I just haven't had good luck with democracy. They always seem to get very badly on but we will give it the old college try. <laughs> okay, so those are all my items, and now we're gonna do the try on, back in a bit. First attempt, and I don't think we're doing too great. <laughs> uh, the top, um, it's a little bit pushing it right here. It rests right on the bottom of my neck, and it's pushing, and it's, icky and I keep wanting to do this but then it naturally goes back up to there so this is going to be a, a no because this will drive me nuts and every time I put it on I'll want to take it off um, the sleeves are interesting um, I wish that they kind of laid down a little more I don't know how else to say it um, not poof up and kind of reminds me of um, you know like alien outfits in Star Trek, how the shoulders always stand up like that. Uh, and it, I just, I don't care for the, the baby doll. Um, I don't know, it just goes out in the wrong spot on me somehow. I don't know how else to say that. Uh, so let's talk about these pants, and this is a huge bummer. 
Okay, first off, it would be glorious because look, I actually have length. I could put on shoes and not look like an idiot. Uh, but, put them up where they belong. This, this is, <laughs> this is the problem that I have with democracy pants. Um, that's just, I mean, you can't even work around that. Especially since, um, you know, they, they don't have belt loops. I couldn't even fake it with a belt, which is a real bummer because these are, are very nice otherwise, but this is just not going to work out for me like at all. So these are going to have to be a no. So we're going to move on. I'm going to put on the other pants and please let them work <laughs> to wear with the other shirts back in a bit. Okay. We'll start with the top. This is what she looks like on. She, she's not bugging me up here. It sits nicely and it's very stretchy. She's not as form fitting as I thought. As you can see, we've got quite a bit going on here in the waist, but that's nice because then you can, you know, front tuck it if you feel like it. And you know, you get a little bit of a drape, which is nice. Here's what she looks like from the back. I like this color. I like this color a lot. Um, it's almost the ultimate neutral as far as I'm concerned. And these pants are amazing. I just can't with these pants. Okay, first off, we have no gapping, but we have room. If we feel like eating something big, we have room. They come up reasonably high. My belly button is actually almost covered. I find that things that are called high rise aren't really high rise because again, here's my waist. And so we've still got a ways until we get to the pants, but these are pretty close. <laughs> I can hike them up a little bit if I want and they make it to my waist-ish and they fit nicely. The pockets don't land down here on my thighs, which is awful. And again, with a teeny little heel if I felt like it and it wouldn't look awful so these pants are amazing these are a I must have them because it's so hard to find pants that are long enough <laughs> wantable has really been quite good about sending me long pants because that's in my profile that I need a long inseam I just can't with short pants so good job on the pants We'll see how much these bad boys are, but I'm slightly in love, so I think I'm gonna be keeping these. And this is a huge probably back with the next shirt. Oh wait, actually, let's just toss on this cardigan, which I'm pretty sure already I don't want. I don't know what it is, but the waterfall cardigans, I just don't care for the floof in front. I don't know how else to say that. See, yeah, this, this is what I don't like. Um, for the same reason I don't like tight front shirts, I don't like things dangling down in between my legs. If it was a straight around cardigan, I would love this thing. The color is amazing. I love the, the different patterns of the fabric on here, the ribbed and the not ribbed. I think it's a nice, you know, bit of interest on what could otherwise be a very boring item, but I would want pockets instead of this thing. Turn those into pockets. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is a pretty much a no. I don't like the waterfall front. They're not my jam. So back with another shirt. We're back with this big oversized Z supply top, as you can see, shorter in the back notch on the side which actually only comes up to like upper hip bone um if you see my black bra ignore that i am but there's a problem with it she's broken um which is a surprise because z supply is usually very good so i don't know what the deal is on that but she she came damaged in and see and I don't know um, if this is a sale item or not and that might affect whether or not they'd have another one that they could send me to replace this one 
but she would look lovely with leggings. I mean, she doesn't totally cover the frontal region, but that's okay because I don't wear ones with seams that give me a bad frontal region anyway. And usually when I wear leggings, it's just basically in the car to drive my kid to school. So it's only me and, me and her that see it. So, but this is what she looks like. It's, it's a bummer that it's, it's like they just didn't, um, you can see the, the seam is right here. And this part just, I don't think was pushed in far enough for it to engage in the seeming adventure. So I think I already have three no's. Yeah, I do. I have the cardigan and the choke me out top and the pants that don't fit at all. So I wouldn't need to really exchange this, um, whether she's on sale or not, because I wouldn't be able to get a five out of five in, or a five for the discount anyways. It would be me picking the things that I truly love, like jeans. <laughs> so we have one more item, which is this really cool colored sweater. And uh, back with that. Okay, I'm back in this awesome little sweater here. I absolutely love the sleeves. They're fantastic. This is of course not meant to do anything for your body, but surround it in a cocoon of happiness. It's not as see-through as I thought. Despite it being an open weave, I can't really see my black bra and that's with the ring light on, which usually makes things see-through that aren't. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, when I lift up like this, you do see belly, but how often do I do that? Only when I go into the cupboard for my recipe books. And I'm certainly not gonna be whipping up a batch of cookies in this, but I will show you why it is that I was so excited about this color. Okay, first off, I have my Steve Madden combat boots <laughs> that would go fantastic with this down at the bottom. We have my lovely Jessica Simpson heels that would go fantastic with this. We have my little kitten heeled booties, which would go fantastic with this. And we have these amazing booties with the little V front that would go fantastic with this. <laughs> you might notice I have a bit of a thing for this color. Um, this is amazing. I love it. That's that. It is absolutely fantastical. I love everything about it. And, um, yeah, I don't see. See, look, if I tuck it in, haha. -ha. If I do a teeny little bread tuck on it, she doesn't pull up when I lift my arms because she's quite stretchy. Ooh, look at that. That's a full win right there. So these two items, I think, are for sure. Um, the That leaves us with this as a maybe. Um, maybe leaning, probably. <laughs> So I'll have to check prices now. So let me go ahead and get myself situated and we will go over the pricing and see what we think. Okay, I will flip this bad boy over now and we have our handy dandy price sheet. One of my favorite things about Wannable is that they have pictures of the items so you don't have to second guess which item is which if there's two pairs of black pants, for instance. So let's start at the top. The Matilda pullover in current Size extra small by Gentle Fawn is on sale for $39.50. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's mine. Next, let me grab all of this stuff. We have the yeah, Waterfall Cardigan in Heather Oatmeal, size extra small by Dreamers. And this is $49 not on sale. So sweet, I didn't like one of the not sale items. That works out. <laughs> and next we have the Ansel Brush Thermal Top in Sandstone, extra small by Z Supply. This is $29.50. Uh, she's got a hole in the arm. Um, and uh, I mean, she's nice, but she's not, I need to exchange it nice, if you know what I mean. I can grab a little waffle top from, you know, pretty much anywhere. Okay, next, 
the big disappointment because I really wanted these to work. The Absolution Ponte Pull-On Itty Bitty Boot in black, size extra small by Democracy. $68, not on sale. So, I mean, if they would have fit, if they would have fit and the waist gap wasn't happening, I totally still would have paid $68 for these because they would be completely worth it. Um, they're a, a fantastic feeling fabric. They felt nice on, aside from a massive gap in the back. They were long enough. They were boot cut. I mean, it's, it's a it's a bummer, um, but it is what it is, and I'm doomed. Uh, and I don't want to, you know, spend sixty eight dollars on a pair of pants and then take them over and spend another twenty dollars or so to have the waist taken in. I just I'll just keep hunting for a pair of Ponte pants that are my friend from the start. Next. Flower print textured top in black, size extra small by THML. This is on sale for $29. Uh, like I said, if if the neckline wouldn't have choked me out, um, I probably would have kept it and tried to figure out how to make these lay down nicely because the fabric is amazing. I mean, just the the different textures that you, the, I mean, there's like six different textures in this shirt alone. And I could combat the baby doll probably by tucking it in. But with the choking outedness, I just don't even want to try. So there it is. Uh, variegated rib mock neck long sleeve top in toppy size extra small. Um, this is W by Wantable. This is $48, not on sale. So this is basically $9 or yeah, $9.50 more than this because she's not on sale. Uh, she is kind of amazing though. So I'm really gonna have to think about that. And then these bad boys right here, high rise mini flare in dark blue size 24 by Verve. Am I saying that right? I have no idea. <laughs> That's $68. That's less than I pay for my Vigos, and um, I love them. So it's just so difficult for me to find jeans in the wild. <laughs> These style boxes have saved me countless times on jeans um, because they pretty much only send me things that are long length, whereas I go into a store and I have to hunt high and low and then maybe I'll get lucky, but nine times out of 10, I won't. And there's no long length and it's maddening. It breaks my heart. I'll find the perfect pair of jeans that does everything right, except for the length. And I have to decide if I'm willing to deal with a short pair that I can't wear with any kind of booties or heels. Um, and just wear them with, you know, big fat tennies or, you know, just leave them at the store. So um, this is a definite, these are a definite, this is a maybe. Let me know what you think down below. And um, I have a few days, I just got this box. Uh, it showed up last night, so I have a few days to mull it over. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.